I'm congested. I haven't sneezed as much today, but I had a sore throat today that I didn't have yesterday. Um, it's not pleasant, but I've been sicker than this before on the right side. Yes. And um, do you know how you got it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm worried about the, the speed of the spread and, and I'm worried about the capacity of, you know, the hospitals to, to manage the number of people who are getting sick. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, that the least we can do is mitigate the speed at which this grows so that the hospitals don't get overwhelmed because they're clearly, um, they're getting to the point where a lot of them are concerned about how they're going to be able to provide services between the you know loss of nurses, people who are getting sick because of COVID, because of COVID, that's a starting point. And then you've got the increased patient load. I know that um, they're pretty close to the limits in some hospitals on ICU beds that are staffed. They have ICU beds that aren't staffed. What that means is that a nurse, instead of taking care of one person, is taking care of two patients and two ICU beds. Uh, which is not ideal staffing. So it's putting the stress on everybody. People are like, well, why should I bother? Because, you know, people are getting sick anyway. It's like the difference between getting a cold and getting something that can kill you. It is a world of difference. And I would opt for the cold and not be disappointed that my vaccine didn't 100% protect me, as opposed to not getting a vaccine and winding up seriously ill.